today i have like i can't this is so weird you're like basically my first collaboration on i'm this very channel. i'm honored i'm so honored. i'm really excited for anyone that doesn't know what's going on right now i have sophie strauss here hi guys are we okay do you need a pillow no i'm just it's okay because i'm kind of like well you're higher we than we should me. change the seats this oh this can be much better yeah much I'm better still... okay so here we are today i have sophie strauss here we're doing a very exciting video um, we're going to be duping Glossier products. Sophie is very familiar with Glossier. I am less familiar with Glossier, but I am familiar with throwing them under the bus and throwing shade <laughs> left and right at Glossier. So I'm really excited because it's going to be like my Glossier Lesson 101. Let me introduce Sophie really quick. Sophie is a musician, beautiful musician. Thank you. Um, do you want to tell them how we know each other and yeah. how this all has come to be? Sure. Well, well, Carson and I have known each other since middle school, which is awesome, but we it's were crazy. not like, we were sort of like friends of friends. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up going to college together and Carson actually- Never saw you. <laughs> yeah, I never saw you. <laughs> never saw I never saw her either. We went to NYU together. And, um, but I knew she was a makeup artist and um, senior year of college, I was putting out my first um, EP. This was in New York. Do you remember? And you did, it was, you did like a pink eye and a red lip. It's gonna come up on this screen and you guys My are gonna see. My memory is so bad. I it's remember really I walked, I walked so to your apartment and I like That's walked crazy. up your stairs and then like you did my makeup and then I walked like another 10 blocks to school and I did the photo shoot at the Tisch building. And the makeup, the makeup held, so that's how you know that Carson's the real deal. Carson did my makeup for this, what she was actually talking about before, she did my makeup for this uh, music video for my most recent album for a song called Aphids, which we'll play a clip of here. Well, I'm sick of all these sheep, you know I thought you were a wolf. If I wanted you to love me, I would do it for myself, do it for myself. Do it for myself, do it for myself. And I always tried to tell you, but I never got around to it. You hit me and it felt like, you hit me and it felt like shit. You hit me and it felt like, you hit me and it felt like shit. And you'll get to see her. You guys go work. watch it, it's so cool. Or we do you have so that thing where we can like, link it in the thing? Yeah, we'll link it, and that's actually the perfect Is this place. the right corner? That's the right it's corner. It's gonna be right here. It took me a few videos to find that out. <laughs> Definitely check it out. Um, and but, subscribe to Sophie's channel. Oh yeah, I don't and have follow a lot of her Instagram. My Instagram is the best. Don't follow, uh, YouTube is fine, <laughs> you can follow it, but it's just music videos. <laughs> it's often weird to have somebody else do your makeup. You are very familiar to the way that you do your own face, and sometimes to see your own face interpreted by somebody else can be a little jarring. And I just never got that feeling when Carson did my makeup. So I knew that when I got married a couple months ago, she was the only person I would trust to do my makeup. So she did a beautiful job then. I loved it. So thank, thank you. you for having me. Oh my gosh, that. you were great. And she did my mom's makeup too. And my mom never wears I makeup. I did. And there's a photo of um, my mom like having her makeup done. And then like her arms are up in the air and I'm in my full wedding dress and I'm putting deodorant on her. So we have a great <laughs> I remember that yeah. moment. I love Glossier because um, I am on the Instagram and who doesn't? love Glossier and have it shoved in their face all the time. I just have really struggled with cystic acne for the last couple of years and I've found that, you know, first I started changing my skincare over to clean beauty and then I was like, well, I'm literally like rubbing silicone and like all of this stuff on my face after I've just like cleaned it and, and treated it so beautifully. Maybe that's part of why I'm breaking out and I have to say as I've traded over most of my makeup to clean beauty my skin has been so much clearer so i thought i would enlist carson maybe to help me see what other glossier products i can um kiss goodbye <laughs> yeah no that's so well said another thing is like sophie is a major like makeup lover skincare <laughs> lover we can talk about skincare and beauty for so long. Like, I've been here for hours. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll just get started. Sophie already has on a full face of Glossier. So I'm gonna start putting on clean products, right? That's yeah. what we're doing. I think overall, the general thing we were trying to find was comparable price point, which is definitely the trickiest thing when you're switching over to clean beauty because it just tends to be more expensive, whether it's the formulation, they're using higher quality stuff, they're not using sketchy stuff, mm -hmm. or the packaging, right? Like they're trying to use glass and not mm -hmm. as much plastic and you know things like that totally lend to the price. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some price differences that we just kind of couldn't 
Mm -hmm. shake um, but also for a lot of those you still end up with like more product so it's kind of a good trade-off beautifully said <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away and this is gonna be <laughs> Sophie's channel from now on another thing is that when, like when it comes to dupes we did our best to do like you know it has the same applicator has the same this has the same that we really did our best but at the end of the day what I think matters most is how it looks on you yeah. so like our dupes are range from like almost identical dupes to like things that just work the same and they're clean and the price is great so why not switch over we're gonna hop right into it so we're gonna actually start with cloud paint which is a really exciting product it has a really nice sheen to it it blends really easily and I have freckles so I tend to opt for like lower coverage both in blush and foundation mm. but the dupe that we both love is the Ilia color haze is this a surprise if you've been watching my channel you know how much i love these and we have three colors which is really exciting but sophie is the perfect dupe the color i really like of the glossier cloud paint is beam because it's oh. kind of a peachy pink a warm with a warm tone yeah and then the Ilia color haze the color that i like is temptation so i already know that i prefer the Ilia color haze the glossier is more watery this is more concentrated almost twice as much money it's 32 dollars, but it also lasts like twice as long mm. not even because there's like a ton more of it. It's just that it's you concentrated need a, such enough. a small amount. Yeah, and honestly, mm. the glossy applicator, like, you'll squeeze it out and so much will come out, even if you're, like, so careful. Mm. And this has a much easier applicator. It has this almost, like, sort of slanted tip. I will also say, like, I don't it's wear so any pretty. powder of anything, like, no powder products mm -hmm. or setting powder. Same with me. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. I want to glow and glisten. Yeah, it's true. So I will say, um, my personal vote between Glossier and Clean Beauty. Mm -hmm. I vote Clean Beauty. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. I can't help but to want to go into a product that we don't actually have physically. We don't have the Glossier one. It's the Night Shine. It's a liquid, okay. like a liquid serum highlighter. And people have loved that from all of the Glossier. Oh, you didn't like it? I don't know. Oh, okay. I, was <laughs> like, I don't like it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. it's good. I think this it's is fine. literally so beautiful. Who even cares? And exactly. Sophie has one of the little samples. This would last you so long. And I've it's... had this for like two months, and I still. <sighs> That's like, amazing. It's, and I use it every day. It's probably an eighth of the way through. I will say I am like on that influencer kick. You don't have to do it, but I do put a little bit of highlight. Oh, let's on do it. I do a tip of the let's nose highlight. You, I I have to admit, I do it. That's I think it really looks cute. Funny. As, cute as hell. But that's crazy. But look at that highlight. I'm gonna Ooh. put some on. Hello. This is everything. The, the cheek action is always right? what isn't, we want. Isn't this the cheek situation? I, I just need to I revisit can't beat this it. stuff. I can't beat it. It's really Should good. Should I do it to you? Yeah, do okay. it to you. Okay, wait. I'm just, I'm gonna like really this get This is the shot. Out. This is the shot right this here. Money shot. <laughs> Look at my cheek while I'm highlighting. Oh, my, it's so it's highlighting my sideburns and it's my beautiful. Cheek. Okay, I love that so, so much. And the other thing is, like, at first, if you really want to concentrate it, you kind of pat it. This is the moment. This is we have to be careful. We might blind. Oh my this god! Is the Look at you. <laughs> so good. So the Glossier Lid Star is their eyeshadow, and it is a cream eyeshadow with a doe foot applicator. It comes in this little tube. It's very cute, and the whole idea behind it is it's very sheer and it's easy to apply. If you put a little bit on each eye and then you go to work on this eye, by the time you get here, it's kind of dry and hard to work with. I have two dupes yeah. for each color. So the two colors of Glossier that I have are Cub and Moon. The two dupes I have are actually two different products. The first one is the PYT um, Glam Glitter Gel. What's great about this is that it's, I believe it's the same price. I believe they're both like $18 or $14 to $18. So it's a pretty negligible difference. And it's way more product. They're both similar applications. It's still the doe foot. I think this one's much better though, even. Because so of much the better. And handle. it's juicy. It's juicy. The handle on this is this teeny little cap. Who is it bothers tiny me so little much. fingers you can't control. But yeah. seriously, this is really frustrating as an applicator because the further away you get, hand to face with any applicator it's going to be harder to control so this is just like a flawed product design to me personally this one is the closest dupe for moon so that's why i'm showing it the other two colors are gorgeous and worth mentioning they have a sort of um pinky iridescent and then a gold and the gold is like these are very similar they also dry down really well i think they actually dry down better they're easier to work with they don't dry quite as quickly but then once they're there you're good to go the other dupe i have is a a controversial product it's true very controversial on this channel but 
Okay. But this singular color is something it's we good. both agreed is like good, usable. It's the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also like $28. Yeah. It's too expensive. It's, it's really too expensive. expensive. <laughs> it's one color. <laughs> The rent is too damn high. <laughs> Go watch my Kosas video if you yeah, haven't seen it's, it. Well, it's right here. But this color is actually almost like a perfect dupe for what I wish the cup was. Mm. Dude, I'm so hyped on the PYT. Okay, go for it. Okay, so you, we're gonna do globe first and then we're gonna do shimmery PYT. Yeah. This is beautiful though, especially on you. Like it's very, it's a good it just tone gives me. that wet look. I think this is what Glossier initially would have wanted to go for. I love that so much. I think it's just really subtle. Like it just adds depth to your eyes and it mm. doesn't make it look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. Dude, PYT actually really pulled it off. Arc. Yeah, they did. You have such glass skin right now. I love that. That's everything. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do mascara. This is an interesting one. This is one of the few ones so far that like Carson really has a lot to prove because I have not found something I like more than Glossier's Lash Lick. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna see, but I'm good. It's gonna be an uphill battle because I really um, am a devout worshiper at okay. the altar of Lash Lick. And if it can't be replaced, it can't re be replaced, and like there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like the big bullet points with Lash Lick. Lash slick, yeah, or that it's like your lashes with mascara on them, and it's just like the most natural. It's very lash subtle. possible. The one that I'm recommending is the Pacifica Aquarian Gaze Mascara. This one I love. The wand is also silicone. It's also very small, and every time I use this, it's when I want just that super natural lash finish. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna try applying it to my other eye yeah. so I can like get a sense of how that feels. Yeah. I could see myself buying this product just because the price is so good and I know it's clean. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like it better. Mm -hmm. That was like 30 seconds of trying a mascara too and I know it takes like a week to really sink your teeth yes, in. Totally. The Ilia mascara is one of my favorites and it took me literally months to discover how much I truly love that mascara. I will say because I've been voting clean beauty this whole time, if it's I'm time. just going with it's my time. gut, it's yeah. time. I gotta give Glossier a win. And I gotta fair. do it. I love this. I love it. And it doesn't fair. mean I wouldn't do this and like potentially use it all the time. It's just, yeah. I don't know if it beats this for me yet. I would have to give this beats a try. And I have to say this was also like a love at first use mm. product where like mm -hmm. I put it on and I was it's like, like this whoa, is this is really great. So I, I have to say too that we get, at least for me, like, I think probably in general, we get very attached to the wand itself. So when it's not identical, yeah. it can throw us off. So the fact that this is an identical shape would also kind of Yes, me. totally. Yeah, and if you're watching this and you're like, okay, I want that effect, and you don't have the glossy one, you're not already attached, you're like open. And this one is less expensive, so that's also like if you're trying to be budget Save a couple friendly, bucks. Yeah. then do this. Definitely, and it's at Target too, which I love. We survived the mascara round. Should we do um, brows? Yeah. Let's do brows. So brows, it's all gonna be Sophie's turf because <laughs> she's very particular with her brows, which I love. I totally get it. She I did my own brows at my wedding. Yeah. I told Carson, I was yeah. like. I'm doing own brows. Like, yeah. And by the way, Carson has, is like the queen of brows. She has the best brows in town. Oh, that's really nice of you. But I still you great brows. didn't trust her. I didn't trust her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. So exposed right now. I know. It wasn't about you. All tea, all shade. <laughs> it wasn't about I you. I love that. I love that. No, so that no. It's about me. It's not. It's not you. No, it's me. brides are entitled to do whatever the hell they want. I go through boy brow very fast, but I love them. Whether or not it's boy brow, I like this kind of brow product, like a small spoolie brush. So obviously, the one we grabbed is the Beauty Counter Brow Gel because the applicator is actually identical. identical. It's the same component that um, Glossier uses. So here's this. While I tend to prioritize having my clean beauty be like skin products, so blush, highlighter, um, foundation, concealer. I have gotten a contaminated package of boy brow before. So that's oh. one of the big like mm. ways that they rate clean beauty. Some stuff is like, 
toxic, some stuff is not great for the environment, some stuff isn't toxic, but it's very, out, like it, it has a high risk of being allergenic. Mm -hmm. um, and then some things are none of those, but they're very easily contaminated. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know what's in Boy Brow, but I got a package of both brown and black, and both of them made me get these little hives in my eyebrows. So it is definitely something, even though I'm Whoa. like a diehard Boy Brow person, I do totally recognize the value of a clean beauty boy brow dupe. Okay. Ooh, look at those brows. I love watching people do their brows. I love that moment. So I will say that this beauty counter brow product picks up a tiny bit more of the actual like brow gel on the spoolie than the Glossier does. Mm. So I think that makes it a little bit harder to work with just in that like you have to be a little bit more careful about like going outside of your brow. And the other thing I noticed, though it's really negligible and I'm just being a stickler, mm -hmm. is that it has slightly less of a sheen to it. It's like a little bit more of a matte finish to your brow. The glossy or this one? This. Oh, Which I would literally never have thought about until I was like looking at this just mm -hmm. now. And who cares if your brows are like glossy versus matte? Yeah. I don't think it actually matters, but I'm yeah. noticing it. Yeah, that's fair. So That is so fair. Um, I mean, it sounds like you and boy brow, like your bank account has a relationship with boy brow. You have a relationship with boy brow. Well, here's what I want. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm okay. going to say it's a tie. I'm going to okay. give it a tie because okay. I think this is a great product. Yep. The beauty counter. I mean, I think yep. the beauty counter is a great product. If, you, if you're like on the fence about it, I would opt for the beauty counter so you don't risk contamination and getting eyebrow hives. Like I'm... That's wild. Yeah. Sentencing myself to a lifetime of that. I mean, it looks so good. Like I'm really being a stickler. It really does look good. They look good. fantastic. They, lips. Let's talk lips. Let's talk lips. We have what did you two, bring? I put yeah. two Glossier lip products. The first one that I love is Glossier um, Generation G lipstick. The two colors that I love of this product are Cake and Jam. Cake is sort of a peachy nude, and Jam is sort of a berry, and both are very like everyday wearable. It's really sheer. It's really matte, and it it's really diffuse, so it doesn't leave like a hard line when you apply it. I guess the downsides I would say of these is that they don't last long. They kind of go on like a lip stain, but they don't last like a lip stain. So the clean beauty dupe I found for it is Ritual Defi, is mm -hmm. that how you would say mm -hmm. it? I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not French. Enchanted Lip Sheer. Mm -hmm. And they're super cute. The packaging is adorable. It has their, their like patented little constellations and I just love it. They are a matte finish and they are sheer, but they are not as sheer and they are not as matte as the Glossier yeah. Generation G. But they're more hydrating and they last longer. The Ritual Defi dupe for that is bittersweet and I have to say of the dupes I found it this is the closest like it's almost identical it mm. really is the other one I love that I tried for you guys is jam which is that sort of berry tone and the dupe for that is rue these are really beautiful the formula is gorgeous it's like a balm and you can get that sort of really soft k-beauty look too with it by just doing a very small amount I think um it's a really interesting lip product and it's so it's like the color is just gorgeous so um, that does look so pretty on you though. I just applied it so lightly. Yeah. And the pigment's beautiful. It it's fair. It's on very, you. honestly, once it's on, it's very similar. Like, that's such a gorgeous nude. I'm really into this color. Gloss. Final stretch. Yeah. Let's talk gloss. Let's talk about gloss. We all know Glossier Gloss is like one of the top products next to Boy Brow that I think people buy and they love. It's a cult product. I adore mm -hmm. this like cherry colored ones. I have like mm -hmm. a no-brainer dupe. I'm obsessed with the Kopari lip glossies. It is so juicy and cute and like the consistency is really nice. Amazing. I think it's really really good. Clean it, but Cause it's not sticky. Not at all. And but it's I wore it on my thick. wedding I wore it on my wedding day. Because I knew so I was gonna have to give a big old kiss. And I wanted my lips to have a nice shine to it. So, so I, cute. I wore this. Yeah. I love that. I love I'm a I'm a gloss bitch basically like i love my gloss love gloss my dupe that i brought out was the air perez mango lip honey these two look the same on a the hand glossier. but the effect on the lips is very different i don't know what it is about this glossier one but it almost it brings out your lip color yeah sort of how you said it doesn't this the air perez this one's a little like bit too light this is the color pop they do have a red one they do have a clear one i just love this formulation so if you're curious for that like thick but not too thick and not sticky like 
consistency, I think this is worth checking out. This is the thing too that's very interesting and difficult about Glossier products is that they really do a very good job at like being very particular with their formulations to really distinguish them in the market. So I have to give props to them for that. You look like a rock star right now. You also, is that, does your necklace say matriarchy? It does say matriarchy. My, That's so good. My dear friend Alina got it for me. That is our uh, program for today, kids. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was so much fun to film. Thank you so much, Sophie, for coming over. Thanks for and, having like, me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to Sophie for being here. And you guys Thanks, need guys. to absolutely check out her channel. You need to check out her music on Spotify, iTunes. It's everywhere. Everywhere you can Just my name, music. Sophie Strauss. Yep, and all the information is going to be down below. So thank you guys for watching. Thank um, you. Subscribe and have a beautiful day. Bye. Can Bye, guys. Really be the sun like you call me. Sun like you call me. it up. That's so cute. How do you okay, I love that. I got, we got it. We got it. There's, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a thumbnail on there. Love that. And maybe it'll just be a, the, one of the...